Hey, hey, look what bloomed overnight. A few weeks ago, I thought I hit it or hit one with the weed eater. But what I think happened is that the baby dove tried to fly out and went down instead of up. And it looked like I might have hit it with the weed eater. But it looks like they're going to be okay. That sure is a relief because, to tell you the truth, I haven't stopped worrying about it. In case you don't know, I'm a huge animal lover. Those um, Mississippi kites around here, they're in the hawk family. They will get those doves, but they're in a good spot in that sago palm. That sago palm is guarding them pretty good, and it's really prickly, and they're tucked in there. So that, that's a good spot for that mother to pick. We'll see in the coming weeks, but I think they're about ready to take off on their own. Okay, it's time for my Burger King experiment, giving an an order two things to look for or to hear to listen for I don't know if I'll get them my windows broken I got open my door if they interrupt me uh, while I'm giving them an order and if I have to repeat it we'll see thank you Burke how can I help you Give me a 10 piece nuggets. It's no longer on sale. Okay, I'll take it. All right, one 10 piece, that's all for you? Uh, fudge sundae and a large Diet Coke. What kind of fried fries? The, don't you just have one kind of fudge sundae? Oh, you want a fudge sundae? Yeah. And a large one, baby? Large Diet Coke. Eighteen. What kind of fudge sundae? I thought there was just one kind. Ranch. Can I get my large diet coke? Thanks. Not so bad. She called me Boo, so she gets points for that. She may have seen the camera. I'll have to look back. That's why she was acting nice. But overall, not so bad. I've experienced a lot worse. Some lady's got my lunch spot. Who does she think she is? Got me a cable spool. I'm going to drop this off before the next yard. I like to put plants on them. It's the kind of look that I like. I even put them in my house after I blow it out with the blower. <laughs> I noticed my seat on my riding mower is feeling kind of loose, kind of going from side to side. I, I thought maybe something got off track. I didn't worry about it too much. And then this time when I unloaded it, it was totally off. The, uh, the metal that holds the seat on there, totally, it broke. You'll see where the bolts are going to it. I'll show you when I unloaded this next yard. So I'm just sitting on there kind of an amusement ride, you know, <laughs> hoping I can stay on the mower. <laughs> I gotta figure something out. Copper on the boulevard. Stay under 30. Got my seatbelt on. I don't even get scared when they turn the lights on behind me. I just start laughing because these cops are getting younger and younger and 
I'm sorry, ridiculous. Is there a good reason you don't have a seatbelt on, sir? Yeah. Because it cuts my stomach and I rarely drive over 30 miles an hour around here. Let me unload the spool. I'm not recording too much mowing because it's kind of like watching reruns. Nothing new to see. If I lose 100 pounds, I'll film it. <laughs> Hit a route head on. Riding mowers out of commission. It's cursing up a storm, people looking at me. <laughs> I felt like saying, What the F are you looking at? Get inside. <laughs> oh, God. I need to simmer down. I'm going to sell it as is. No more money into that thing. It just makes me angry. One little split second decision can really mess you up. I'm really mad at myself for that.